Hello and welcome to Pro Tips on Gecko TV. Today we'll talk a little about GFCI tripping issues. The first thing to know, of course, is that the GFCI will usually trip if there's too much amperage drawn by your own system for the breaker's capacity. But if your problem is that the breaker will not hold at all, well, there is definitely something wrong somewhere. So either something that's not well hooked up or not well installed. First thing to ask yourself, was anything changed recently? For instance, if the GFCI is brand new and it started, well, not holding at all, I'd say have an electrician look at your GFCI install because probably that it's not well hooked up. However, if the whole system was operational and it started to trip and it won't hold anymore, well, very likely something started out. So first thing I will recommend, unhook both heater leads from the board. The most common source of GFCI tripping by an accessory is the heater that is shorted out, or the element, more likely. So try that, and if that's what's happening, if it holds, change the element or change the heater. However, if it's not working, well, let's try and isolate the issue. So what you will do, unplug all the accessories one by one, and every time you unhook one, try and see if your breaker will hold. If it holds, well, you may have unhooked the accessory that was tripping it out or the accessory that is shorted out. That way, you will isolate the issue. You will know what the problem is. You'll know what accessory to change. Maybe it's just you know water leaking on a motor or the light that is shorted out. So just keep on unhooking until you find it and replace it. If you have any question or concern, you can call us or email us at any time. Thank you very much for watching.